Here's what happens to your body when you don't get enough vitamin D. The recommended daily allowance is 600 IU per day, although many experts believe we need more, like this study that recommends 5,000 IU per day to have sufficient levels. The best source of vitamin D, besides supplements of course, is unprotected exposure to the sun at peak sun for 15 to 30 minutes. So that needs to be early afternoon. There are apps that can tell you the specific time to go sit outside every day in your region. The only food source with a decent amount of naturally occurring vitamin D is cod liver oil. So unless you're drinking a lot of that, I wouldn't count on food to meet your needs. The not so great thing is that about half of us have a deficiency and your whole body relies on it. There are vitamin D receptors everywhere from your brain to your gut. So when we don't get enough, we start losing bone density, which can eventually lead to osteoporosis and fractures. We also become fatigued and can even develop a sleep disorder. You weaken your immune system, it starts to affect your mood, and you can develop heart conditions and high blood pressure and some other pretty serious conditions. But what I want is not to scare you, but to give you the motivation to prioritize your vitamin D, whether it's through a supplement like our Why Not Natural Vitamin D, which is identical to what your body produces in the sun, and it has vitamin K2, or by committing to eating a late lunch in the sun every day, or drinking your cod liver oil.